So what is up guys, Killing Kevin today back with a brand new episode of 5 new console mods to hit the Bethesda on our website this week. This is going to be episode 370 within my series, but without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. Witcher 2 style standard plate armor by Barbarian is going to be the first spot within this video, coming in at 17.6 megabytes of a download. For this one, it is going to be a port from the nexusmods.com with full permissions, do not worry. For this one as well, this is the meshes and texture edit to do with the excellent Witcher 2 heavy plate armors, including one of the standalone armor sets, one to do with that as well. This is more of the generic one in quotations for that one. And this is the steel plate actual set of armor and the helmets can all be crafted at any forge providing you have the materials and the corresponding smithing perks. For this one as well, they can all be tampered and upgraded and they look absolutely finesse. This is definitely a big one to grab. Once again, all of this armor is that all that changes the model meshes and textures are coming in incredibly low, 17.6 megabytes of a download. But a second spot within this video is going to be Hold Capitals, Towns and Villages, coming in at an incredibly small 1.3 megabytes of a download. Add some of the towns left out and now who the player can visit those particular areas. This first release adds four towns and a small village to the mixed water mill and remains to a certain settlement and to do with certain villages too. Villages you can visit such as the Granary Hill, the Sun Guard, even the Dunstead Grove and a few other ones as well. Guys, if you want to go check this out as always before downloading it, click the link in the description, have a little read up, but I highly recommend just grabbing this one as I say, just because of that incredibly small download size. For the third spot within in this video is going to be HD LODs textures is coming in at an incredibly huge download size of 131.6 megabytes of a download but before that stumps you out and literally puts you straight off hear me out first of all this mod is a complete retexture of Skyrim Dawnguard and the Dragonborn's LODs Everything is covered in with this one. Obviously, it covers absolutely everything to do with Skyrim Special Edition. The vanilla uses 256 or 128 textures of the LODs in 2K unpressed LOD textures, alters them from afar, which is going to be the sort of textures furthest away from those ones too, which is kind of lifts them a little bit sort of V-round, a little bit blurry on the visuals too. But for this particular mod, this offers a 1K texture for the near LODs and 512 textures from a far LOD in 4K compressed LOD textures. So that means you're pretty much getting double and a bit of what you usually would of the LOD to do with a vanilla base game. This one is a really cool thing to have. Maybe you're doing some absolute beautiful screenshots or you want to see something right in the distance and maybe you have enough room to grab this one. If you do, again, I'd recommend it. I would personally have it, but that download size is going to be incredibly large. And this one does cover areas such as Cities of Skyrim. Obviously, all of them are included. Riften, Solitude, Whiterun, Windhelm basically every single one even the smaller towns and villages even farmhouses dwarven ruins are going to be included within this one dragonborn content and drawn guard content will be included with absolutely everything mountains and rocks and waterfalls are included within this far hence why it is so large for the panama spot within this video it is going to be a levitate spell this one is going to be the skyrim edition there is a morrowind one on the bethesda on a website that was released basically exactly the same time as this one if you want to go and read up of that one the information of both of these particular spells are within the same description of either either of those mods but we will be looking at the skyrim edition for this one coming in at 13 kilobytes of a download for this one this adds a levitating spell to the world of skyrim it's a little bit more than it would in the morrowind so no clipping in such places so on and so forth it's actually able to fly around and through objects by a simple cast of walking into the air and away you go. This one is very interesting indeed. You will be able to fly as long as you are holding the spell. Obviously, do not get rid of that one. Obviously, this will be an expert level spell, so you will have to have the corresponding magic upgrade to get that, if not the perks to get that. And obviously, upon this one, make sure, as I said before, it is in the slot because if you do remove it, you are pretty much dead. But overall, it's a very interesting mod, and if not a cool one to pick up and try. It's a little bit of fun. Not too sure what the practical use of 
it is, but if you do find one, as always, let me know down in the comment section below. Mirror Guard Quora is going to be the fifth and final spot within this video. PlayStation 4 exclusive vampire themed player home. This one is coming in incredibly low, 246.4 kilobytes of a download. The mod details of this one you will get is going to be a vampire layer furnished with Coffin, Alchemy Lab, Enchantment Table, Workbench, Grindstone, Anvil, Coffin, Bookshelf Holders, which is absolutely awesome, and they can hold 18 books for those. Two bookshelves, stacked holds nine in total. Helmet Storage, Gauntlet Storage, Boots, Chest, and Dress Storage 2. For this one, you do get an additional eight mannequins, eight weapon racks, and your individual storings to do with weapon types too. Lots more storage, four different vampire castles, tanning racks, and a wood chopping block located right next to the half moon mill. This one is definitely going to be absolutely awesome. This is a big one, I do believe, for the Bethesda.net, for the PlayStation 4. This is probably going to be my favourite for the week as it stands for PlayStation 4. Obviously, we've got a ton for Xbox One to do with player homes and awesome mods to hit the site this week. But for this one, for PlayStation 4, if you are rocking a PS4 and you haven't got this one already, guys, just go and get it right now. That download size is practically nothing for such a beautiful vampire themed player layer. So guys, that's it for this episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. This has been 370 within my series. Guys, if you did enjoy it, as always, I'd very much appreciate a like on the video. You know it helps me out an awful lot. Comment as well. I'm pretty much trying to get back to all your comments slowly but surely. We've been bombarded with an abundance of beautiful new subscribers and people heading onto the channel and sharing the love and support over on my videos. I really do appreciate it, guys. Do not worry, and none of it is unmissed at all. But guys, if you haven't already, you've made it this far into this almost seven minute video, click that subscribe button. Right next to it as well, there will be a little bell icon. If you click that, you will get a notification for every single time I post a video like this to the channel. But until the next one, guys, get a get there and get a get out.